Good day, friends. It is spooky season, and I'm in the mood for a cold blocks pumpkin. So, my friends, let's get cracking. So, if we're going to use code blocks, we need to click code blocks, and we need to do create new. When this screen appears, we are going to click new design. The very first thing we're going to do is put pumpkin, P-U-M-P-K-I-N, and our initials. Friends, in code blocks, you need to create objects. So click modify and put the create object block up at the very top of your project. To stay organized, we rename these. When you rename the variable, we are going to call this one the pumpkin. This will be the shell of it. When you press enter, you'll see that name. I will tell you quickly, never duplicate these because it wrecks the name. We always create new objects when it's time to make an object. We're going to make our object with a sphere. When you bring the sphere out and drop it underneath, of course, since we're making a pumpkin, we should make it orange. Pick your favorite color. And then we need to change the measurements. I'm going to tell you to make it 15. And I'm going to tell you to make the steps 36. When you hit play, it will draw our pumpkin shape right here. Now we're going to modify this, but this is a great start and you learn how to hit play and watch your code show up. Code blocks draw from locations like 0, 0 on a number line. We're going to look at it from a corner and we're going to raise that up using a move command. So go to modify, bring out the move, drop it underneath, and remember radius is half the sphere. So that means if we put 15 in Z and click play, it'll raise it up to the right height. Now to make this really look like a pumpkin, we are going to scale it. We want to take the Y and instead of having the whole one, we're going to make it 0.2. And when you press enter, you'll see that it squeezes that little piece. I'm going to look at it from a corner, either by clicking the corner or by right click dragging. That is way too skinny, so instead I'm going to make it 0.4, and I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to watch it draw again. Friends, that's a pretty cool slice of a pumpkin, but we need many, many of these. We are going to make those slices with a cool command called count with. If you drop the count with under our pumpkin, and then bring our pumpkin chunks back up in, we're going to turn this into a puzzle that repeats. Put the number 8 out here, and then we want to rotate a certain amount each time. We're going to make a variable for that rotate, and we're going to call it turn. Make sure you put this above your project, click rename, and we're going to type the word turn in the box. We're going to set this amount to 30 for now. We can adjust it later as we play. As I said, we want to rotate, so let's go back to the modify commands and drag rotate underneath. Now we want to rotate from this top, so we're going to change the axis to Z. Make sure you do that or it won't work. If we rotate 90 degrees, that doesn't work. That's where we're going to use this turn command. So we're going to go to our variables, and you'll see now that turn exists and we can drop it in. We are also going to go to the math and drop in the x, y, and z of zero, so it's at this location. We can adjust this measurement with the sweet set item command. So we can click the word set and switch to the turn variable, and we want to make that increase each time. Well, to make it increase, you bring out the math chunk, you drop turn in the first piece, and then we want to increase it by 30 each time it rotates. So it'll be 30 plus 30 is 60. I've done some math there because 30s fit well in 360 and that'll help it rotate cool. All right, friends, so this is where it gets cool. Uh, make sure you're looking at it from a corner. And when you hit play, now your pumpkin will draw, squish, and rotate for each piece, creating an adorable little pumpkin. How cool is that? All right, so you may have noticed we had some extra slices. So instead of 1 to 8, let's see what happens if we make it 1 to 6. Let's also change the speed of our drawing to full speed. Let's hit play and watch that all happen one more time. Poof. 
So you can find the perfect number. I'm gonna say that six works just dandy on mine, and let's move on from there. All right, friends, so we've got a pumpkin shape. Now we need to create a part that we can cut out of it. Bring out your create object. Once again, hit rename, and this one's gonna be an eye. Don't forget you cannot duplicate these. You need to actually bring one out and type it. We're gonna make the eye out of a shape called a roof. When you bring out the roof, you must switch it to a hole. Do not forget that step. I'm gonna tell you, instead of a length of 20, we want a length of eight. If you hit play, this will draw quickly on your screen. You'll see it'll be underneath and it's quite wide. We're gonna take this shape and we're gonna scale it. Click modify, bring out your scale tool. And then I want you to change X which is this way to 0.25 and I want you to change Z to 0.5 because I think this looks pretty cool for an eyeball. Leave Y as size 1. When you hit play you can see how that new eye looks and now we need to move it to the correct height. We're going to do that with the move command and we're also going to move it farther out so it cuts instead of in the center the face or the front of our pumpkin. We know that the radius is 15, so let's go up 22. And then I'm gonna tell you that same thing, let's go out negative 14 or 13. Make sure you type the negative so that it pushes out here in front. When we hit play, you will see that that eye is in the center of the head and ready to cut. To do that, we need to make a new object though. And this one is gonna be the jack-o'-lantern. I'm gonna just rename it Jack, because that's a lot shorter to type. And then in the jack-o'-lantern, we're gonna use a very cool command where we can add a copy of an object. Click on your data and find your pumpkin and drop it in there. This one, you are allowed to right-click and duplicate. The second pumpkin, though, needs to be the whole so it'll cut this one out when we group them. We need to make the second one smaller though, so go to modify and find the scale command. All right, friends, I'm gonna try and make this easier to see. So I'm sliding these up. As long as they're below each other, they're fine. They will run in order. I'm gonna bring this up so that we can see everything we build. And I want you to take this scale and I need you to change the scale to 0.9 in every direction. So the hole is going to be smaller than the real pumpkin. Now we can click on modify and we can create a group out of those two pieces. As soon as you get your pumpkin created, make sure you choose delete object and then choose data and we need to get rid of that pumpkin. Otherwise it won't show up when we draw it in the next step. Now we won't be able to see anything until we actually cut out the eye. So let's quickly add a copy of that eye. Remember, you click on data, find your eye, drop it in. We need to make sure that it's a hole, and then we need to move it to the correct location. When you bring in your move, I'm gonna tell you that a good number to use is probably something like negative six. We wanna make two eyes though, so watch this. Right click on that and duplicate those two commands and make the second eye positive six. Just like that, you've almost instantly added two eyes, and now we can super simple create the group, and we can delete the eye, because unless you want three eyes, you're good to go. With our eye deleted, we can hit play and check it out just like that. You have cut the eyes out of your awesome pumpkin. We need to create a mouth and remember, we've already learned when you create the object, it has to be before the final object. So let's slide it down, bring out the create new object, and we're gonna rename this one mouth. And we're gonna name this one mouth. We are gonna build the mouth with a round roof. We need to rotate it, because right now it's flat side down. So we're gonna rotate it around Y. And we need it to rotate 180 degrees. And once again, we're gonna use that zero, zero that you can find in the math. 
real quickly. We'll hit play and you can see that it's down below and it's the right shape, but instead of a big gaping mouth, let's add a couple or more sweet teeth. We're gonna create our teeth with a box. Bring the box down, drop it below, open its parameters, and I want you to replace these numbers with four, keep the 20, and put another four. We're gonna move this so that instead of being in the center of the mouth, it's to the left. We're going to do that by putting a negative 4. And then we're going to change the height by 4 as well. We will leave Y alone. Turn that red block into a hole. Right click on it. Duplicate it. Make the second one positive 4 instead of negative 4. Real quickly, we're going to make those a group. And when you hit play, you will see that you've got teeth that are cut out. We're going to make the whole group a whole. Real quickly, just for fun, I'm going to make that mouth a little less half circle by putting 0.75 as a scale in Z. Now let's move down to the jack-o'-lantern and let's add in that mouth. Now I'm going to move my mouth over and below so that I can bring the jack-o'-lantern code up so you can see it better. Real quickly, just remember they have to be staggered. Top, middle, bottom, and then the lowest. Adding the next part is simply add a copy again. This time we're going to go to the data and we're adding a copy of the mouth. We're making sure it's a hole and we need to raise it up and pull it out. We'll do that with a move command. I'm going to do negative five so it comes toward me and I'm going to raise it up 10. When we hit play we can take a peek at it. Notice it is now up there and ready to be cut out. I'm going to put the group which is right here and then we remember we have to delete the one that we started with. With a delete object moving to the variable and then putting it below and then finally hitting play and checking out our amazing jack-o'-lantern. All right, friends, so there you have it. That's how to make a sweet little pumpkin with just a little bit of code. There's so much room for you to expand this, friends. You can make this mouth way more cool. Maybe you could use spiky teeth. Those are things that you can play with and explore. Remember, if you create something awesome, you can share a screenshot of it with me. Uh, I am at HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also send me something at Gmail. When you've completed that, you can hit close on this window. Friends, there's so much room for you to add other things like a nose and a stem and all those cool things. Just remember, you always move the completed pumpkin down and create the other parts up above with a new modify and create new object command. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.